Hey guys, VBad here with another V Plays, and this is going to be the next set of win or lose videos. Uh, we're going to go with Japanese aircraft that are carrying 30 millimeters, uh, 30 millimeter cannons. Now, this is only going to be two, and this is a very unique aircraft. This is going to be essentially the, the German Comet, but uh, for whatever reason, they decided to make it a Japanese premium called the JM. Uh, this little rocket plane was actually supposed to be like a glide attack aircraft, not a rocket powered aircraft like we have here where it just keeps getting more boost continuously. But you know, it's a video game so it makes it a little bit interesting. This thing accelerates very, very well and can climb like, well, a rocket ship. But the cannons uh, can definitely troll you if you aren't used to the 30mm cannons that this aircraft boasts. But it doesn't mean that it isn't capable. I'm going to go ahead and do a steep climb here. I would like to drag some of these light defenders up to higher altitude. Uh, but here we are. We have a heavy inbound as well as some bombers. Heavies are a good aircraft for this plane to chase. Let's see if I can actually figure out these guns again. Because we don't need to worry about tail gunners at this tier. And we're definitely going to have the speed and climb rate to be able to keep up with these things. There's the spot. Like I said, these 30s can definitely troll you. There we go. Knocked him out. Let's get back into the fight. Like I said, climb like crazy. And we also have a very quick cooldown on the boost. We can get after this other bomber. I'm going to call for some assistance from our other heavy. Yeah, this is going to be over quick. Guns overheat pretty bad, so got to be careful with that. Do we have an enemy ground attacker here? Player controlled. I'm going to dab that F4 on him. Surprisingly short range on this thing, on these guns. There we go. Head over to the military base. Catching an aircraft unaware and diving on it is your best bet. Or coming up from underneath like we are right here. We don't want to sit in this guy's tail gunner any longer than we have to. As you can see, we managed to light this aircraft on fire. Really don't like losing your engine in this. Definitely feel the effects. Go after this heavy. Alright, broke off. We are heavily specialized in this platform. Okay, cool. We got him before the XF5 you could get on us. I don't think I'll be able to outturn him. Uh, maybe. Uh, let's just go and outclimb. <laughs> and we're gone. Staying at good airspeed, let's dive back down on this guy. get a good run in light fighters are an easy kill for you eh. but with these 30s you can typically cripple an aircraft or at least get some good hits in 
does not like getting close, which is ironic considering the very, very short range on the gun. There we go. I've been playing with 30s all night, and I figured we were warmed up enough I could go ahead and risk it with this battle. J7W2, we will fly the J7W3 tonight. That thing has a surprising resiliency. But, as you can see, we crippled him pretty well, and our team was able to take him out. There is some heavy clashes going on over here. Our sheer presence makes this guy freak out, huh? Yeah, let's get away from this guy. Look at that acceleration. We have complete control of the <laughs> that didn't take too long. I'd like to think that was a team effort. But our ability to get across the battlefield has allowed us to be able to be a constant presence. Taking out a couple of key bombers. And going after these heavies and keeping them away from our bombers. There we go. Taking out his engine. Getting that pneumatic assist. Receiving reports about rapidly deteriorating weather conditions. The there we go. Do you read me? Over. You can just hammer this down for 10 seconds of full boost. I'm pretty sure that bomber is going to be taken care of, but I would like to steal it from our... Heavy, oh well. What are you gonna do? Is that the P-51? Is he coming after me? Nah. Oh wait, or is he? Eh, I should be able to keep him climbing. You can see here we just don't care about altitude in this aircraft. Go ahead and throw the GG up there. That was a very strategic fight for us. Now let's go ahead and hop into another aircraft. Uh, and we'll review the end game, I guess. But I think the next plan we're going to go for is going to be a tier 10. And at tier 10, we have a couple of options. Well, we literally have just a couple of options. The Key 162 3 is also a German stolen design, so we'll fly that one as well. Oh, that got us another skill point on our A7M pilot, which is what we were looking for. And yeah, 10 aerial targets destroyed, and we're number one on our team. Took out some very key targets early on, and I'd like to think that that was what allowed us to be able to turn the tide of the battle. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this segment, and I'll catch you on the next battle where we'll be featuring Key 162.3. See you out there.